Now let us take a look at some of the implications of our study of the states. The states are of the memory which is virtual, non-physical, non-mental. It is not real and so its states are also not real. Or more directly you can say that because the change they are impermanent. So using the criteria for truth or reality we can directly say that they are not real. What is real then? What remains unchanging while the states are changing? Is there fourth state that is the background of all the three states, three major categories? And you will be surprised that there is a fourth state. But it's not a state of the memory. It is a state of knowing. It is expressed by the statement that I am experiencing the states come and go. This I is the real background of all the states. You can call it the fourth, but it is not really separate from the three. It is present in all three. The fourth permeates the three. And so the witness of all these states is the reality. And I am that. So I am not any of these states. And I never go through these states. That will be a surprise. Who goes through these states? It is the memory. It is the universal memory. The processes there are cyclic and they are driving these states one after the other. And it is very very complicated because of the eternally evolving structures there. It has become really complicated. When I look at it from my point of view, I can see that there are others also. There are other local memories which are reporting the same states that this one is reporting the other people also experience the waking state, the dreaming states and the sleep states. It is another matter that they don't know anything about it but everyone is going to say that I experience the same. Therefore, the states are objective. It is not my personal experience. Many people will be inclined to say that they are objective and real. Everybody goes through them. How can I say that the states are not real? They are not a product of my imagination. No, they are not. You must have noticed that people do not appear in the sleep. There is only me. Where are they when there is state of sleep? That can be a difficult question to answer even though it sounds really stupid question. Of course they are there sleeping or what, doing whatever on the other side of the globe. They are awake. That is not our experience. In sleep, there are no people. That is our experience. Even in the yogic sleep, there is nobody. Just one big huge silence. That's all there is. Where are the people in the dream state? And nobody will like to call them as people. They are images created by my mind. They are imaginary. They are not people. Are they not reporting the same things which, which they usually report in the waking state. Yes, they are. And that is also my experience that you are in a dream and your friend appears there and he says, what a nice house you have. And you have a giant elephant parked in front of your house in the elephant garage. And you will say, thank you very much. Be my guest. In the dream, you don't have even a slightest amount of doubt that this imaginary thing cannot see this house. And the, and the elephant is completely made up by this fellow. When you wake up, you realize that all these things were my imagination. There was no friend and there was no elephant and there was no house. And there was no me also as the dream character. I was also imaginary. Remember, there are no people in the dream state. Also, we have a majority here suddenly. Two out of three states are saying there are no people. What does the waking state say? Surely there are people here. Now it remains to be shown that they are also a product of some memory. Just like the dream is. And I am pretty sure that you must have done it by now. Through your direct experiences and with the help of logic, you must have already seen that these people, this world and all other creatures here, they are only being perceived they do not exist apart from my perception of them. And what is being perceived is the universal memory through the senses. Now, some people may say that I am there in the form of universal memory. Yes, why not? 
that is what i am trying to show you since the beginning there is only memory there are no people you now know that there are so many kinds of dream states especially in the non lucid dream state it is a creation of the local memory or a little bit more probably causal memory or something but there are no people there is only memory and if you are still under this tremendous shock that i put the waking states as a subset of the dreaming state then you should realize that there are no people now in the waking state also we have a full majority now that which is witnessing the memories through these structures called people that is real according to our criteria for truth because people change not only they change in their behavior and uh, speech the bodies and the structures they also change so we can dismiss them as unreal although at the level of the waking state at the level of the relative truth they are real when you yourself are a character in the waking state or in the dream state you should behave as if everyone is real because there are going to be consequences if you say that all people are my imagination and i am free to do whatever i want to do with them there are serious consequences of this because this thing which wants and is doing is also unreal and so at the level of unreality there will be consequences especially given that this area in the universal memory is rule bound it is tightly bound in rules and it is actually serving as a training ground for this evolving structure it is an ideal training ground simply because there are consequences if there are no consequences which can happen in other areas for example your dreams then there is no evolution there is no learning there is no progress there is no growth this intelligence never arises if there is no evolution this intelligence which finally becomes self awareness there is no question of it being there if there are no consequences if it learns nothing and progresses not even an inch so out of necessity these areas have evolved to produce such structures such entities that are seemingly intelligent and display goal directed behavior and also have self awareness they can know what they are so not only this person it is possible for the other person or other creature with sufficient intelligence it is possible and so we take them very very seriously as if they are real we play with them only in our wish fulfillment zones not here not in the waking state this is a big lesson to be learned you cannot dismiss the illusion as an illusion there is some value in this illusion there is some value for the structure this entity the whole of it is completely free purposeless goalless play play of vibrations that's all it is it is open ended it is directionless and the experiences here range from completely rule bound to completely random and everything in between that which is completely directed we call it deterministic and that which is completely random we call it indeterministic and everything else falls in between which we call it probabilistic some things have purpose because their direction is determined the purpose of the river is to fall in the sea the purpose of the wind is to bring the clouds so that it rains the purpose of the squirrel is to collect the fruits and the purpose of the human is to live a very happy life what is a very happy life to be in a very happy state that's all are we bothered by this criteria for the truth oh no everybody is unreal i better commit suicide no we have the clear goal in front of us all the states are illusory okay i don't have any place to stand now what should i do we don't worry about these things we know our purpose when you study the states the purpose will fall out of it and the purpose becomes to remain in a very happy peaceful blissful state where there is no compulsion no fear no anger no struggle no demands no wants no desires or if there is any of these activity i don't want to be affected by them they can go on they can continue they cannot stick to me this is my purpose i am not i am not bothered that there is no reality at all 
in any of the states and that is all there is whole of our lives is nothing but a play of impermanent states and unending experience of states remember it is unending it is actually timeless eternal it will go on and on and on so upon realizing that uh, these states keep happening i don't have any control over them i have a preference for one of the states or, or many other states and i don't want some of the states we get a purpose we know all the people are kind of unreal but i myself don't want to be treated as unreal and we quickly learn to respect the other to treat the other as real as real as i am and that is true really because essentially everybody is me everybody is my own form so i treat everybody as my own form just like i do not discriminate between left hand and right hand left foot and right foot left eye and right eye i say they are all me i do not discriminate between anybody including animals plants and the environment itself they are all me so we encounter another paradox here that an intelligent person even after knowing the illusion of the states and the illusion of the activity and the complete wild purposelessness of this whole existence does not become crazy simply picks up a purpose out of this infinite sea of happenings the purpose falls naturally out of this knowledge upon knowing in a lucid dream that all the people there are my own forms an intelligent person is going to actually treat them better treat them nicely because my own memory has taken that form there is this oneness attitude only a mentally diseased person will do something disgusting with his own forms it is possible i am not saying it's not possible depends on the level of evolution of that person normally unevolved people cannot reach the lucid dreaming or other projected states cannot realize that the waking states are dream states they don't have this ability they are found in afflicted states most of the time so only a wise person a wise highly evolved human will reach there and immediately will see that everybody is my form no matter what is the state because all states are dreaming states he wants to stay as a sleeper this form prefers sleep that sounds kind of lazy but it's not because you know what is sleep it is bliss it is the very nature of the universal memory you associate sleep with laziness and inactivity and that is because of the ignorance that is because of the indoctrination as soon as you study these states you will come to know there is only activity there is no inactivity the sleep is highly active <laughs> this laziness is laboring non stop however there is peace in the sleep which is not found in any other state this is the blissful state of me being myself that is the reality i am being myself that's all because the rest is false and that is why i prefer the sleep state and as you know from the last three episodes that there is one state which comes up again and again in all the three categories which is the dissolved state and that is the ultimate sleep and that is the higher purpose normally people are not attracted to that state so we fall down one step and we accept the aware state as my ultimate state that is very close to dissolved the equanimous state i don't prefer any other state you must have seen that except dissolved all other sleep states are actually afflicted states probably except the yogic sleep but yogic sleep ends it cannot remain forever because there is body and there is not a desirable state that's why there is no star in front of yogic sleep although it is very interesting we don't desire it it will end and then the regular struggle of the illusion will start we don't want that you want something permanent that permanence is staying in the state of dissolution or equanimity or awareness so not only the ethics and the right behavior falls out of our knowledge of the states we also get a higher purpose to stay in awareness all the time by time i mean no matter what state is that is the purpose for a seeker a seeker is not go- going after 
happy state of some kind. No, there is no point in that. What a seeker is after is no matter what the state is, I need to be aware. I need to be equanimous. I need to be in bliss. I don't want happiness which comes and goes. I want that bliss which I experience in the sleep. And the bliss in which the universal memory is already in and is eternally in. By taking all these forms, it does not become unhappy. So I don't care about the states. I don't care about the experience that is happening there. And I don't worry too much about people also. They are just cardboard cutouts for me. How, how does this world appear? I don't really care. They are the props on the stage. Which body do I have? Is it a small one? Is it it's a big one? It's a beautiful one, it's an ugly one, short-lived, long-lived, with wings, without wings. It doesn't matter as long as the state is blissful, as long as there is complete awareness. This avatar is unimportant. It becomes important only if it drags me into an awareness and then I leave it quickly. The world, the props, the cardboard cutouts, they become important only when they snatch this blissful state from me. And I quickly leave them. So we get this all these preferences very, very naturally. And we are on a journey towards that state. Fully knowing that they are all fake. Fully knowing that none of them is really important. But somehow this preference for blissful states is driving the evolution of the entities here. Do you prefer hate? Do you prefer anger? Do you prefer jealousy? No. Why? Because they are not blissful. They invade into the bliss. Therefore, it immediately gets a direction. Not there, but higher up somewhere. Love, detachment, compassion, curiosity, love for knowledge. This is going to give me blissful states. So we immediately get a direction there. And the evolution happens towards this low entropy state. And we search for people who are cooperative, who are also loving, who are like me. And we are disgusted by people who are not like me. So preferences are formed like this. And the progress happens. And we prefer the worlds and areas in the universal memory that are heavenly. They are full of love and light instead of hate, violence, disgust, anger, fear. We gradually gravitate to something which is highly evolved. The states gives us a preference. Remember, if the states did not change, we won't get any knowledge at all of anything. This is one big subject actually. How is it even possible to get this all knowledge of the memories and the states and the activity and even the experience and the experiencer? Remember, it is possible only because there is a change and the change is happening in form of cyclic states. Without this change of states, we will never come to know anything. Some seekers are actually going to prefer changing states. Oh, I'm born, I'm dead, I'm in coma, in, in anesthesia, in a lunatic state, in a drug-induced state. So what? It is very, very natural, they will say. It is because of the changing states that I could learn a little bit. These states are a learning opportunity and so I don't want to lose their experiences. I want to go through them. The way to bliss is through the states. Not bypassing the states. If I bypass the waking state, I won't learn anything because the Guru is here. The people with knowledge who I am calling cardboard cutouts are here in the waking state. They are a source of my ignorance and they are the source of my knowledge. It is a dual experience. I cannot discard it completely because if I discard it, I discard the good part also. And then where is the progress? If I discard the waking state, which is... Being this hairless, tailless monkey in an upside down world, then I won't progress. Then there is no progress, there is no knowledge then. And so I embrace the waking state with full respect for it. I do not dismiss it as my dream. This avatar is now my temple. It is a vehicle that is taking me forward. This is another paradox. I know I am bound. I am I'm bound to this world, I am bound to this vehicle, but I accept it completely. Because there is no other way. There is no other way to reach there where I want to go. Fully knowing that there is no journey, I am on a journey. Fully knowing that I am only a silent watcher of the journey that this 
मशीन इज ऑन एंड यू लेट इट हैपन यू डू नॉट हैव ए प्रेफरेंस ओनली दिस मशीन हैज ए प्रेफरेंस द मशीन रनिंग इन द मेमरी इन ट्वेंटी थर्टी हंड्रेड ऑफ लेयर्स इट इज इट्स जॉब नॉट माई जॉब दिस इज सम काइंड ऑफ हायर इंटेलिजेंस इन दिस मशीन अल्टीमेटली यू विल सी दैट दिस इज अ प्ले इट लुक्स लाइक समथिंग डेंजरस एंड डार्क only because of the ignorance once you know this um, big picture in the play of states the activity whose activity is this and who is the observer and then paradoxically you get the ability to tolerate and accept this is the joy of knowing which is not available to those who are ignorant so for a seeker there is another goal that is to know that is to completely wipe out the ignorance all traces of it to know as much as he can the knowledge is the seed if you don't know uh, anything about the states anything about the universal memory anything about the local memory anything about the experience and the experiencer this greater purpose of of being blissful cannot be achieved knowledge is the key you have the key now so the states are your puppets you can be in any state you want that is freedom and the freedom is not doing anything crazy the freedom is choosing that which you desire it looks like there, there is no freedom here because what i desire is already fixed it is happiness but not being bound to choose some other state is my freedom beyond this there is no freedom choosing knowledge over ignorance is my freedom that's all and it happened because i am in this waking state and i am listening to a guru and i am following a path the path of knowledge so i am grateful for the waking state also i do not call it a lowly dream like state which is producing nothing but suffering no i accept it as a training school i knowingly seek people who can accelerate my training and then i leave it as soon as i am able to choose a better state and leave it i am completely detached from it now nothing can stop me what about the people what about the family what about my job and <laughs> who cares they are unreal you will get more you will get an infinite number of them in the next state and you hope that they will be better there will be ignorance of some kind there also in that state and so you keep walking your goal is reducing your ignorance and you take it as a play because it cannot be serious isn't it who is ignorant here this body mind structure this memory structure and it will never get the whole knowledge it's not possible there is no nothing to know really so it is the ultimate play now fully knowing that there is nothing to know and fully knowing that all states are really equal they are all sleep i play this play of progressing on my spiritual path i am devoted to it it is sacred for me i respect it 